my name is Mohammed Idris, and today we're gonna be discussing on some few programs. Okay, so number related number number related programs. Okay, let's solve on this. Okay, with the help of if condition and for loop that this everything looping statements basically. Okay, so now let's look onto this special number which I am discussing it. Okay, now I'll be telling you what is the special number is. Okay, so if I take a number n is equal to thirty nine, if I take a number n is equal to thirty nine. Okay, so what I'll do is first thing I will divide it. Okay, I'll divide it as three plus nine, and in the next hand I will write as three into nine. Same procedure I'll be doing it. Three, four plus three and four into nine. Same thing. Three plus nine and three into nine. Okay. What is three plus nine? Three plus nine is nothing but uh, twelve. And four into three into nine is nothing but what? Twenty-seven. Right. Now what I do is okay. What I do is okay. There's nothing but twenty-seven. What I do is I will add this both the things. I will add this both the things. Okay. Now I'll tell it as twelve plus uh, twenty-seven. Twelve plus 10, twenty-seven is nothing but what? Guys, thirty-nine. Okay. This is a special number. Now, what is this? This 39 is nothing but 39, right? This this 39 belongs to 39. That means it is a special number. Okay, so if I enter any number, okay, from 1 to uh, 1 to 99, okay, from or else you can tell it as 10 to 99. Okay, 10 to 99. Okay, only for the two two digit number within the two di digit numbers. Okay, you need to tell me which are all the special numbers. Okay, if I enter any number, so you need to tell me what is the special number. The first one is what first uh, what is this i want it four and three let let's say with the special number right so now what i do is coming to here guys coming to here look onto this carefully look onto this carefully i want this four i want this three okay i want this four i want this three uh you know this guys you know this guys okay your four and three your four and three whatever the four and three is okay i'll take uh, some other number for the explanation some other color Okay, let's take about the four and three. Okay, let's take about the four and three. You have four, you have 43, right? You have 43. Uh, it's a single digit number, right? So this becomes your this becomes your unit digit, this becomes your unit place, this becomes your tens place, right? So on it goes on. Hundreds, that, this, everything. Okay, why I have given this question? Because with the help of this question, you can solve future questions. Got it? Whenever I give the questions, it's like a stepwise questions. Okay, if you solve this first one. Uh, in second one, there will be some extra additional feature. With the help of first questions, you can solve the second question. Okay, there will be always a match between the first and second question. Got it? that is that is the flow I follow it. Okay, now coming to this guys, coming to this, you need to get this three. How can I get this three? How can I get this three? Simple mathematics, right? Simple mathematics. What I do it for 43. I will tell it has. Uh, I will divide by 10. Okay, number called as 10. Okay, if I divide by 10. Okay, if 10. How much are guys? Forza, 10 Forza 40, 10 Forza 40. The remainder will be what, guys? Three. The remainder will be three. So I'm getting this three by what, guys? By reminder. By what? Reminder. I'm getting this four by what? What, guys? I'm getting it by division operation. Simple as it is. Simple as it is. Right? I'm getting four also. I'm getting three also. You know it. How you get this three? You know how you get this four. Right? A simple thing. I'll do it. Okay. So if I tell it as 43 modulus of 10. 43 modulus of 10. What is the order? What, what I'll get it? I'll get it 3 here. Right? If I tell it as 43 divided by 10, okay, what I'll get it, guys? 43 divided by 10, or I'll get it, I'll get it 4. Simple, simple mathematics. Simple mathematics. Okay. Keeping this in our in our mind. Okay, keeping this in our mind. Okay. So what I do is what I do is I will tell it has, I will tell it as if it is n, guys. If it is n, okay, if it is n, what I'll do it, n modulus of 10, n modulus of 10. I'll give I will get one number. Other one is what? Other one is what, guys? If this is a number n, if this is a number n, okay, if this is a number n, what I get it? I need to get it for that two parts, right? So one part I'll get it by n modulus of 10, other part I'll get it by n divided by 10, right? n divided by 10, right, guys? Right? So this one I will save it into one variable, might be. This one I will save it into one variable, okay? So what I do it, what I do it the next step, what I do the next step. Some number it will come here, so I need to add it. This both the things I need to add it, right? So I need to add this both things and I need to multiply the both things, right? For example, let's say like uh, 43. If I tell 43 here, 43 here, what are the numbers I will be getting it here? This is nothing but uh, this I will get it three. Reminder I will get it three and quotient I will get it four, right? So three three plus four I will do it and uh, and I will tell it as uh, four into three, right? Then later I need to add it. The same operation I'll be doing it here. The same operation I'll be doing it here. So either I can tell it has I can write it a long equation or else I can save it into one variable. Let's say let's say I, I will save it into reminder. I will tell it as quotient. Okay, reminder and quotient. 
I'll play with this, right? So what I tell it, I'll tell it as a reminder plus quotient and a reminder into quotient, right? Whatever I get it here, whatever I get it here, whatever I get it here, I will add it. I will add it and I will get it sum here. And this sum, this sum, I will get, I will compare to, I'll compare with the final answer, final answer called as n. So this is the procedure. I hope you you got this point, right? I hope you got this point, okay? So if I want to write this program, how do I write this logic? Yes, how do I write this logic? If I want to write this logic, how do I write it? I'll write it as n, let's say let n, n is equal to what, guys, 39. Later, I need reminder and quotient, right? Reminder, I'll take it like this, and quotient, I'll take it like this. Equal to, equal to, right? So now I will tell it as n reminder, I'll get it by modulus operator. I need a unit place, so I'll tell it as 10 here, right? So I'll tell it as n modulus of 10. Next one, I needed quotient, so I'll tell it as n divided by 10 right n divided by 10 i will take it so i have it here in this reminder in this reminder i have nine here in this quotient i have something called as three here right later what i need to do it guys i'll write the equation if condition inside the if condition i'll write one equation what is that if condition inside the if condition i'll write it uh, i need to add it i need to add it first a reminder plus quotient reminder plus quotient i will add it this 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 thing and later i want to multiply it okay i will multiply also i'll tell it as a reminder into q also i'll tell it reminder into q right so i'll get some answer here i'll get some answer here what i need to do it i need to add it so i'll add it here and i will compare with with guys now if i want to store it in sum i'll store it in the sum or else i can write a direct equation like this and i will sum i will compare with n i'll compare with n right if it is equal equal to if it is equal equal to i'll print it as special number special number else i will write it as what guys else i will write it as else i will write it as not a special number not a special number not a special number right that's it done that's it done right so if i if i go here if i go here to the terminal uh let's say let's go for the terminal here and uh okay so i will tell it as uh, ls okay cd c lang slash skill about slash uh ls okay cdc line p1 right okay so uh, i'll tell it has uh i'll check it out which are the days okay today is the day eight right so let's say vi uh day eight dot c right okay so i'll tell it has uh i hash and c l u d e hash include stdio.h stdio.h right so i'll tell it has int main here int main i'll talk about this when i when it comes to the methods okay so let's discuss about this i'm reading my number int n right whatever the number is how to read the number i'll use a scanf i'll use scanf percentage uh, d and i'll tell it has address of n address of n okay later on later on what i'll do it i need to do the operation right so i want a reminder and i want int quotient right int quotient so how do i get the reminder guys i'll get a reminder by n modulus of 10 right n modulus of 10 how do i get the quotients guys i will let us n modulus of sorry n divided by 10 right so later on what i'll do it i will just write a if condition i'll just write a if condition what is that if condition in the if condition what i'll do it guys i'll let us r plus q i'll let us r plus q that is the logic and i'll let it as r into q right r into q in that manner itself i'll write it write the logic Later on, what I'll do it, I will add this both things. I'll add this both the things, right? So after that, I'll compare with equal equal to n or not. If it is equal equal to n. So if it is equal equal to n, now what I'll do it, guys, I'll tell it as printf. As printf, guys. I'll tell it as printf. I'll let us printf. And uh, I'll tell it as it's a special number, right? It's a special number. Slash n, right? So next one. Else I'll tell it as what, guys? Else I'll tell it as what? I'll tell it as uh printf printf not a special number right slash it done so if i run this program okay now i'll run this program i'll run this program compile it uh so it is nothing but cc file name cc okay cc i'll tell it as uh, okay no errors dot slash e dot out i'll enter this i'll enter the number called as 43 respecting not a special number let's say it has 39 39 okay it's a special number so if you ask me which are the special number okay so that the special numbers are something like this guys okay so 19 okay 19 is a special number okay so 29 is a special number 
okay so let's say like 13 39 is done let's say 49 okay it's a special number let's say like 99 okay it's a special number right any other than that it is not a special number okay add on to this question guys add on to this question i want to get to know how many special numbers are there in entire program how many special numbers are there okay so in an entire like 10 to 99 how many special numbers are there that is that will be your assignment to do it okay done this is the program for you this is the program for you yes for now it is applicable for only two digit two digit number two digit number okay just I, I gave this number guys why i gave this number because i will tell you why i gave this why i gave this program okay i had no intention of writing this special number i wanted only how you will divide this number how do you break down this number that thinking i wanted from you 